So using your lab scope, some of the functions. Number one, this little square box right here is ground. Ground, it should always be a little up from the bottom, about two to three of those dashes. In order to move the ground, we select right next to the voltage level, and you can see I can move it up or down, and I'm going to move it three boxes right there. Then I hit N to take it off, and again, this moves the up and down. Let's go to channel setup. We hit Y, and we go into channel, and we can go up to display. If display has a check, you get a signal on the lab scope. If you want to invert it, invert it flips the picture upside down. So you notice you got the negative voltage there. So we'll put that back. AC couple. AC couple is used when you're checking an AC signal. You do not use this on a DC signal. Peak detection, we can check. That way we have the voltage up top. You can see the numbers change up here. 51, 66. Filter. Filter cleans noise up. So if you have filter, you clean the noise up, and you see the little thing here that shows you it's filter. So we're going to leave filter off, but leave peak detection on. Auto find. If you're running into a problem, you hit auto find, and it'll give you some picture, but look at it. It's wrong. We're going to fix this picture and go through the other functions of the scope. When that was highlighted, channel, now we move over here, and what's this? This is our volts, our amperage probes, if you bought a snap-on amp probe, our ignition probe, and pressure transducer information. We're going to leave it on volts DC. This here is our voltage level. We can go from 100 millivolts to 200 volts. For a fuel injector, we would like to be at 100 volts per screen, which if you divide these up, these big numbers are about 25 each till you get 100 on the screen. If you select a lower number, you'll make the picture bigger than it is. And we'll look at that again in a second. We said this moves, this will move, as you can see here, the picture up or down. We want to be about three boxes from the bottom on our zero. We hit N, we get out of it again. Time, the amount of time we can go from microseconds, US is microseconds, MS is milliseconds, and we should be able to go to 20 seconds maximum. So if we make the seconds five milliseconds, the picture gets bigger. We make it 10 milliseconds, it gets small. We hit N, get out of it. This, this next one here, is gonna tell you channel trigger. You can put, you wanna trigger on number one in this case, but you could also trigger on number two, or you could trigger on none. If you're on none, notice the cross with the blue box and a line through it. Notice we have nothing on the screen except the line of voltage, and every once in a while, the figure will flash across. We're gonna fix that by picking channel one, and now we have a trigger. There's our trigger, but it's not in the right spot. Next, we have slope. We'll look at slope after we fix the trigger. When we're dealing with most things, we want from high voltage to low voltage, meaning if 13 volts is coming in here, we want to read from the 13 volts to the ground. We're going to move it over, and this is our trigger adjustment. We press Y, and look at the little crosshair here. The crosshair, I'm going to bring it down the half of the voltage. Now look at that. Half of the voltage, I have a good steady pattern, don't I? Once that's done, I can hit the Y button, or the N button, I should say, get out of it. And let's watch what happens to this pattern when I hit slope the opposite way. You notice how it's off the screen? Because now it's looking from high voltage, that's this peak, to low voltage. So I'm going to put it back the other way. 
this is the way we'd like to view it, at half of the 13 volts or whatever voltage you're testing. Now let's go back a little bit and go to time. Notice this is very wide, isn't it? So if we want to make it smaller, we go up with the time. Now it's small. I want to make it smaller than that. I can put it here. I want smaller than that. I would say it's probably best to view somewhere between 20 and 50 milliseconds the whole screen. If we make it 20 milliseconds, it's a little bit bigger, easier for us to see pulse width from the voltage being dropped to the computer ground. When it lets off, the peak voltage has to be a minimum of 35 volts, and pulse width is measured from here to here. So when you look at it, we read horizontally, the whole screen from here to here is 20 milliseconds. So this may be 5, 10, 15, 20, now it's a little less. You would divide it up if we made the screen 10 milliseconds, just easy to view, we would have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, if not, you have to divide the lines up. Let's look at the voltage now. I'll bring this back to 20. And let's look at the voltage. The voltage, I can make it look real big where the peak is all the way to the top of the screen. I can make it look bigger and it's all the way off. I'm only looking at the bottom of the fuel injector. And by the way, when I go and look all the way at the bottom of the fuel injector, it gets all crazy if I go too low. But right here, this would mimic amperage. There's the pintle opening right here. So that would be amperage when we look at an amp clamp a little later today. So I'm gonna bring this back to the best voltage, which in my opinion is 100 volts per screen. Why? I could see everything right here. When I race the motor up, this should come this way. That is more milliseconds of time to give me more fuel. Some of the other features on the scope. I can go up here, we'll start at this end, and I could look at RPM or digital. We'd like to select digital. So digital, notice when I took it off, all the little box left. Leave the box on for now. Hit N to get out. The pause button, that freezes it. But I lose the other functions down here. I could play the movie back. Okay, there's movie, and that allows me to go back and look. If you look at what's going on here, I could see the whole movie from when I started it. To get out of the movie, I hit N. If I want to put curses on, and not the curses that you're thinking of, not hell or anything, I hit the Y button first, because you see that it's highlighted? I hit that here. I then use the arrow key on the button to the right. I move it right here where voltage drops to computer ground. I hit it again, I move over here, and I move it over, and I get the pulse width. So now, I measured 3.3 milliseconds of pulse width. If I wanna get the curses off, I need to go here, oop, I hit the button by accident. I need to go back into the curses and to leave, press Y to leave curses for reference. Hit N and that N took it out. The next one up here on our list is going to be the picture. If I want to take a picture of it manually, okay, you have to put a CF card in the top. This is called the CF card. In fact, I may have one for you and I'll, I'll give to you. Um, so we don't have one in there right now. This resets these readings. So if I hit this, it says reset min max. So it'll reset it. If I take this off and I put it to a different voltage and hit that, it should reset it and it did. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it off it doesn't update itself. I'm going to go back on the injector. Notice it did come up that time by itself. 
the folder. The folder is all your screenshots. The screen itself, if you wanted to take a picture, we have nothing in it. If we wanted a print, if you buy an optional printing cable, you can print the screen. And if you go here to the toolbox, you can put units. Do you want units in inches of vacuum? Or do you want it in kilopascals? We'll make it inches or in millimeters. PSI, kilopascals, or bar? We want PSI if that's yours. And if you make a mistake, factory default. You can put ignition system. You can put grids on. There's grids, so it's easier to count. Got the grids off, take it off. You want the trigger display. That's this. If you click it, the trigger will be displayed right here. I'd leave that on. But you see with that off? Now I know I'm at 6 fill. So I like that on. Scale display. That would give you this here. You don't need that on. It just makes the picture smaller. If you're in uh, bright sunlight, this won't look good. You invert the colors. Okay, so that's the invert of the colors. So that's basically, the scope is pretty easy to use. Okay, once you're done with everything and you wanted to save stuff, you would just leave it up here and then hit this and you would save the screen with the card up top. So that concludes our little Vantage talk, and I'm going to go get you a card, okay?